How's it going guys? Michael Shamblin here with a new Photoshop tutorial. Today I am going to go over the different techniques that I use for dodging and burning my images. There is a bunch of different ways of dodging and burning. Everyone has their own preferred method. I'm just going to show you guys a few different techniques that I use though. The first technique is to make a new layer. And go ahead and set that layer to soft light. Now what I usually do on a soft light layer is I either paint on the image with black or white. If I want to decrease the overall brightness of that area, I'll paint on with black and that'll just burn the image or make it darker. If I want to increase the brightness, I'll paint on the image with white and that's dodging the image. And there's a few different techniques you can do with this method, let's say you wanted to just vignette the image, make a little bit more of the point of focus kind of in the middle of the image. What you could do is you could take the color black and use a big soft brush at a very low opacity. Now the reason we're doing a low opacity is if I use 100% opacity and I brush on this image, we're brushing in way too much darkness and it looks really unnatural. So if we use a really, a really small opacity and then we just brush in multiple times and I'm just kind of clicking and holding down. You can do this on a mouse if you would like if you don't have a tablet pen. But if you do have a tablet pen, I highly recommend doing all your dodging and burning and just in general most of your photo editing with a tablet pen. It's really going to help out. So right now we're just kind of burning in this top area. We can burn in some of the edges. And just in general, it gives you that nice vignette. Now we could go in with white. And brighten up certain areas that we want to be a little bit brighter, kind of in the middle of the image. So now we've brightened up the center, we've darkened out the edges, and that's just one way of using dodging and burning with a really soft big brush. Now what you can do from there is you can take a smaller brush and go in with fine details. So let's say we want to accentuate this road a little bit more. This image was uh, it's actually an aerial panorama taken in Iceland. So if I wanted to brighten up this road, let's say, let's brighten up the edges of the road just to accentuate it a little bit more. And we're using this kind of fine brush. I always have the hardness all the way down so it's nice and feathered. Let's make a new soft light layer for this just so we can see the changes. And I'm just brushing, clicking, brushing, clicking, brushing doing it multiple times. And there. You can brighten up certain areas. And I just like doing this with a low opacity because I find that it comes out a lot softer than if you use a higher opacity and you only brush once. the effect becomes a little bit softer and a little bit more forgiving. So you can just brighten up certain areas that you really want to accentuate. We really you know, want to brighten up these peaks a little bit, make sure they're the solid point of interest, brighten up this road. We can even brighten up this area around the horizon. Kind of give it that nice glowy look. There's what we've done with our dodging and burning. Now let's say you wanted to explore a different way of dodging and burning. You can actually dodge and burn by using different adjustments as well. I like to use curves for my adjustments. So let's say you wanted to do that vignette. And 
he wanted to darken darken the edges of the photo let's go ahead and invert this mask which is going to be command I and that's going to hide the adjustment now what we can do is we can go in with white similar to what we did before and just brush in that darkness where we want it. And it's a similar way of doing the dodging and burning, but if you know you have a set darkness, like you don't want it to get any darker than a certain point, you can change the curve and just paint on that mask. And we can change this after we've done our brushing as well. So it's just another way of dodging and burning on your images. Now here's one last technique that I'm going to show you. And it's basically how to dodge and burn with color. So let's say you wanted to bring in some warmth into the horizon. You can actually change the color and then paint in that color. You can dodge in that color or even burn in a certain color. So Make sure we're at a low opacity, soft brush, and let's just paint on that horizon. And it's subtle, but we've actually warmed up the horizon a little bit now and also brightened it. And you can do this on the peaks as well. You can bring in some color to the peaks. You want to make sure that when you're doing this, it looks natural and that it works with your image sometimes if there's just you know this crazy orange spot um, in the image that it doesn't you know it doesn't really balance out and it doesn't look like it's actually there it can hurt the image more than help the image i think but adding color is nice sometimes depending on what you're trying to do so those are my different techniques for dodging and burning i hope they help and thanks so much for watching